Just like their human pals, dogs are likely to choose a favorite person based on a number of factors. Some of these include the person's demeanor, interactions with the dog, and how well the person helps meet their basic needs. Because dogs are such loyal companions, most of us want to be the best friend of man's best friend. So how can a new human make a good impression in a dog's life? We'll explain how dogs choose favorites person, why they do it, and how to win your dog's favor if it's not already you. Number 1 Unique Personality Every dog has their personality, just like we do. And as we choose our best friends with similar personalities and energy levels, so do dogs choose compatible people. For example, a cautious, indoor dog will gravitate toward a person who leads a quiet life. Dogs such as greyhounds, pugs, and basset hounds tend to be compatible with introverted personalities. A person who runs marathons and goes hiking every weekend will be more appealing to a higher-energy dog breed. Extroverted personalities match well with Labradors, Golden Retrievers, Bernese Mountain Dogs, and Jack Russell Terriers. Further, breeds such as Beagles, Dachshunds, and Doberman Dogs tend to bond with one single person. Dogs can sense our emotions, so anyone who is often anxious or nervous can unintentionally push them away. Number 2 Attention and Affection It is not just the amount of attention, but giving them quality attention and affection seals the deal. Sure, you feed your dog and you think that's it. Having more physical interaction with them, walking them, giving them massages, or roughhouse with them are ways to strengthen the bond between man and dog. The more you spend time with them, the more they get to know you as well. Have you heard of people who say they talk to their dogs as if they're human? That's one way of fostering a stronger bond, Dogs are intelligent creatures, they can tell from your tone whether you are happy or sad, or a friend or an enemy. They are very good at reading your body language as well. Hugs translate to love. Massages means lots of slobbering dog kisses. Number 3 Time Spent Together Dogs that spend more time with a particular person are likely to have a stronger bond with them. This connection can be formed by playing, walking, or cuddling together. Regular interaction can lead to a sense of trust and loyalty towards their favorite person. This means a dog's favorite person is more likely to be someone who stays at home with them all day, takes them on the most walks, and engages in the most activities. Dogs often love children as their favorite person because kids may play with them the most. Number 4. Early Socialization The key socialization period for dogs is from birth to six months. During this stage, the puppy's brains are incredibly receptive. They bond the hardest with the person who was there for them all the time. It is important for them to have a wide range of positive social interactions during this delicate period. Their earliest interactions would mold them for the rest of their lives and how they'd grow up to be the good dogs that they are. For example, your gardener is the caretaker of your dog. He fed him, nursed him as he was growing up, your dog will most likely prefer your gardener to you. It's the same case if you adopted an adult adult dog. You notice that he seems aloof to the men in your household. Chances are, he probably grew up with a female caretaker and didn't get to interact with a lot of males during his formative months. It can also be that he didn't get any positive social interactions with males. He probably associated males with the vet or with dreaded bath time. If you want your dog to have non-fussy during bath times, give him a positive bath time experience early on. It's like training him to equate bath time for happy times. You could take your dog for a joy ride during his early months. When he grows up, you'll have loads of happy joy rides with him and a well-behaved dog in your passenger seat. Number 5. Feeding and Care Dogs rely on their owners for food and care so it's natural for them to form a bond with the person who provides for them. The person who feeds the dog or takes care of their basic needs may become their favorite person. Therefore, it's important for all family members to participate in feeding and caring for the dog, so they can bond with each member of the household. Number 6. Sending safety. A dog doesn't always understand why we do the things we do, but the good news is that they don't have to. The feelings behind an action mean more to a dog than the reason for it. 
So, when humans do things that make a dog feel safe, they attach safety to the human, not the action. Let's say you're planning to take your dog for a walk, for example. Your pet safety means the world to you, so you take precautions. You might decide that a comfortable, high-quality harness is a must. In your mind, you choose this product because you know it will keep your dog from pulling on the leash. It will hug the dog to keep him comfortable. A dog doesn't get all that. A dog probably has no idea why you're putting the harness on. He just appreciates that you're taking time to make him feel safe. Number 7 Scent Dogs have a keen sense of smell and can identify individuals by their scent. They may be drawn to the person whose scent they find most comforting. This is why it's essential for the dog to spend time with all family members to become familiar with everyone's scent and bond with each household member. Number 8. Emotional Connections Every dog owner knows that dogs have complex feelings. They love, they get scared or sad, they feel excited, and so on. A dog uses actions to express feelings and afterward, they wait for their person to respond. If a human understands what the dog is trying to tell them, they do what they can to give the animal what he wants. Dogs and humans can learn how to read each other's feelings when they try. Even though they'll never speak the same language, they can reach common ground. When a human and a dog communicate emotionally, they bond. An emotional connection forms and both living things feel closer to each other. Dogs and humans both feel a sense of belonging when they find another creature that understands them on a deep level. Number 9. Early Life Experience The person that a dog spends most of his or her early months with can play a role in choosing a favorite. A young dog might get familiar with one family member more than the others. If a young dog sees and interacts with one person most often, a bond starts to form. In nature, Puppies look to their mothers, or other older dogs, for guidance. In the same way, a puppy might look to the person they always see when they want to learn. The more time spent together during early life, the more likely a puppy will bond with the person they see. Number 10. Energy Level Although it is most likely that the person who takes care of the dog for the longest time becomes its favorite human, sometimes this doesn't happen. Each dog has its own temperament, and the more this matches that of the person around the animal, the more likely it is that you will become its favorite person, even if you aren't the one who spends the most time with the animal. Quiet, introverted dogs tend to prefer people with a similar energy level, who speak softly, treat them calmly and respect their space. However, active and sociable dogs will be more likely to approach people who can keep up with them, who are energetic and with whom they may enjoy long play sessions. 